good day. For this week's session for integrative programming, we will discuss about PHP operators and then we will focus on arithmetic operators, assignment operators, and then comparison operators. Okay, so let's start first with arithmetic operators. So for this kind of operators, usually we know this one as uh, something that is used for mathematical calculations and computations. We have the basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulo, and then exponent. So, uh, in PHP, we also follow the PEMDAS rule. So, it means that uh, when you do calculations on it, uh, you will also consider the arrangement of the operators. Okay? So, for example, for addition, we have it here. Uh, for this example, uh, a, a variable x plus variable y means that if we will read it in our in our own native language it will be like uh, the sum of x and y will be the result of the calculation so if we will try to demonstrate that one in our one compiler okay so for example uh, so by the way i'm using one compiler so you can use other online compilers but then uh, for me i find it uh, convenient to use one compiler okay so, I will declare first a variable. Okay. So, for example, we'll have first num for our first number, and then I will have it like 12. And then I'll have a second variable for my second number. Okay. So, let's try muna doing calculations using two numbers para mas madali siyang maintindihan. Okay. So, uh, if you would want to... Uh, add the two numbers we need to have a variable that will ho hold the result okay so for example we'll have here sum we'll declare sum so please don't forget na every time you declare a variable there should be a semicolon that would uh, indicate that this is the end of the line okay so for example sum uh, sum underscore result okay and then i will add the two numbers so just call them, okay, for example, first num, and then you put the plus symbol or the addition symbol, and then you call the second number for them or for you to add the two of them, okay? And then don't forget the semicolon, okay? So it means now this particular line here, it means now they are adding two numbers, okay? The first number and then the second number. And then for it to be displayed, we need to call the variable that holds the answer so we will use echo echo and then you do this one it's like what we learned last week right so sum underscore result then don't forget the semicolon okay i'll just ano lang muna uh, move my face para makita ninyo okay so if i will run this one if you notice diba uh, the program or the compiler added the two numbers. 12 plus 3 is equivalent to 15. Okay? So, same goes with the others. Like, for example, I will uh, I will uh, replace this one with minus or the subtraction symbol. Automatically, 12 minus 3 is equivalent to 9. So, if we will try to have it like multiplication or the product of it, 12 times 3 is 36. Okay? So, that's as simple as using operators. Okay, so if you have questions about operators, you can write your comments below. Okay, and then, then I will answer it uh, for our next session. So for our for the next one, we have it here. So after arithmetic operators, we also have uh, we also have assignment operators. So when you do assignment operators, let's read first so that we can understand. Okay, so I'll just I'm moving my face because. I don't know how to, what you call this one, resize the image or the video. So, thank you for understanding. So, the PHP assignment operators are used with numeric values. Again, please take note of the numeric values to write a value to a variable. So, all along, we've been doing this one. So, the basic assignment operator is the equal symbol. It means that the left operand gets to set the value of the assignment expression on the right. In simple terms, the left side is the variable, the right side will be the value of the variable, okay? So, for example, this one. 
x is equals to y is the same as saying na the left operand gets set to the value of expression on the right. So, ibig sabihin, ang value ni x is yung uh, value ni y. Okay? So, if you will try to recall our algebra, di ba? Anything that you put a value on y on this particular uh, equation means na yan, yan din yung value ni x. Okay? So, how about this one? So, this one, x plus equals y means na the value of x is the sum of x and y. So, for example, uh, the value of x is 1 and then the value of y is 2. So, it means na for this particular equation, the value of x is equals to 3. Bakit? Because we added the value of y, uh, the value of x, which is 1, and the value of y, which is 2. So, 1 plus 2 is equivalent to 3. Okay? So, for example, gawin natin dun sa one compiler para alam natin kung paano siya execute. So, let's use the example na x and y para mas madali siyang maintindihan. Okay? So, for example, we have x and we also have y. So, we will try to declare a numerical value. Diba? Sabi nga nila, uh, by the definition itself, you only use assignment operators for numerical values. So, for example, we will use the numerical value of 5 and the other one is 4. Okay? So, if you will demonstrate or if you will try to do something like this one, x is equals to uh, equals uh, plus equals or should I recall muna ha? Plus equals ba? Yeah, plus equals. I'm just uh, double checking. Okay? Plus equals y. Okay? okay. Try natin ipa-output si x. Okay? Para alam natin if... Uh, if we will try to plug in that on our, uh, what do you call this one, the values we declared, it means na it should be it should substitute the variables with the numerical values. Okay? So, let's call x and then try nothing. Uh, let's try to do substitution. So, for this one, according to our explanation, this particular line here is represented by x is equivalent to x plus y, okay? x plus y. So, ibig sabihin, sorry, it means na si x daw, ang value niya is the value of x, the initial value of x, which is si 5, tapos yung value ni, uh, ni y na 4. So, it means na si x is equivalent to 9. So, let's hope na yung 9 yung lalabas, okay? Ah, uh, okay. Bakit error siya? It's because you forgot to write semicolon. Okay, don't forget to write semicolon. Okay, if you notice, yung value niya is 9, di ba? The explanation, ito po yung explanation. x is equal to x plus x, uh, x, x is equals to dollar sign, uh, the value of x and the value of y. Okay, 5 plus 4, which is 9. So, same lang din if we will have, if or if we will try to replace this one with uh, subtraction or the minus symbol. Okay? So, it means na 5 minus 4 is equivalent to 1. I hope it's correct. Okay. Pansin nyo? If we will try to have a multiplication symbol on it, on it yung mangyayari is something like this. Ayan. 5 times 4 is equivalent to 20. And of course... Yung isa natin, 5 divided by, parang ganyan, 5 divided by 4. I think it's 1. 1.25, ayan. Very ano siya. So, yan yung magiging value niya, new value niya. That's for the assignment operators, okay? So, if you will came across something like this one, don't be confused or don't be, what you call this one? Don't get yourself na medyo ma-confused because it's the same as saying na, kumbaga, this one is just a tool for the programmers to declare certain calculations na mas simple tapos mas shorter. Okay? Yan yung purpose niya. And then we also have the last one, I think. We have the comparison operators. Ito, we use this one when we do conditional statements. When, when you say conditional statements, we are to compare two or, th uh, two or more values and then we try to uh, evaluate whether a particular statement is true or false. 
So let's read first. So for the PHP comparison operators, uh, this is used to compare two values. It could either be a number or a string. Okay. So for example, we have the equal operator, equal comparison operator. So you use this one if you would want to determine if the value of x is the same value or the value of x has the same value with the value of y. Okay, like for example, you would say uh, 1 is equal to 1. Okay, that's 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 a equal value. Kumbaga. So, ibig sabihin, yung lalabas dito is true. Okay, the other thing naman, uh, this one, if you have three equal symbols, it means that you are trying to evaluate whether the two numbers are equal and at the same time, do they have the same data type. Okay, so for example, I will declare... Uh, x as zero, uh, 12 and then the other one but the other one is also 12 uh, 12.00 so they have the same numerical value but they are not the same data type because the other one is a is an integer the other one is a float diba? or something that uh, signifies uh, or uses decimal points okay we also have here not equal so uh, you use this symbol if you would want to evaluate whether this particular or these two values does not equal each other, okay? And then you also have another another representation for the not equal symbol. You can also use this one, okay? This one, this symbol. And meron din tayong not identical. So not identical, you just include an exclamation point and then the double equal symbol, Okay? You also have the basic greater than, less than, greater than or equal, and then less than equal. And then this one, ito medyo bago siya, but then this is not yet, uh, I don't usually use this one because I don't do PHP 7, okay? So let's just focus lang on the basic and then let's try to master this one. So if you will try to demonstrate this one, uh, you, can, you can demonstrate this using two values. For example, ito, di ba? For example, ito. So, you could, uh, de, merong dalawang uh, process para i ano siya, para i-demonstrate yung uh, comparison operators. You could either do it using an if-else condition or if-else statements, or you could use var dump. So, for example, you will, di ba, I already told you na var dump is used to evaluate, oh, uh, is used whenever you would want to evaluate whether a particular, uh, uh, what they call this one? What particular in, uh, data type is this variable? Okay? Pero another also na function ni var dump is that it will try to evaluate the Boolean value. Diba? So for example, uh, x is greater than y. Try natin if dalabas ba talaga siya. Pag hindi, then let's just try to uh, use other ways. Okay? So, for example, ito, we are trying to evaluate whether the value of x is greater than the value of y. So, pag i-run natin ito, okay, if we will try to do the flagging or the substitution method, okay, is 5, is 5 greater than 4? So, the, that's the question and then the answer is yes. It means na yung lalabas dito should be true. Okay? So, let's try to see. Ayan, pansin nyo, yung lumabas is true, okay? So that's how you do uh, checking or how that's how you demonstrate uh, comparison operators without using the if-else conditions. So let's try to do naman na whether they are of the same uh, value and the same data type. So try not to change C, Y into the same value with X, okay? So let's try to do the substitution. It's 5... Uh, uh, has the same value and is identical with uh, the value of y. Diba? Is 5 equal to 5? It's a yes. Do they have the same value? It's also a yes. So, dapat, this one should be true. Run natin, ha? Okay, it's true also. Sir, try those, sir, if hindi sila parehas. Okay. You see? Hindi sila magkapareho because, diba, uh, Yes, they are of the same value, but they don't have this. I, yes, they are of the same data type, but they don't have the same value. Okay? So, that's why it, 
it appears here that this particular expression is false. Okay? You also have, you kindly master this one. Like for example, not equal. Diba? Is 5 not equal to not equal to 4? Diba? Is uh, 5 not equal to, uh, is 5 not equal to 4? Of course, it's a yes. So dapat ito magiging true. Ayan, naging true siya. Okay? Another also, let's try to remember, like for example, you have greater than or equal. I think it's okay to have something like this. Let's try to do lang. Okay. So, let's try to interchange their values. For example, this one becomes 4, this one becomes 5. So, is 4 greater than or equal to 5? Greater than or equal to 5? So, this one is false, di ba? Dapat false ito. It's a no, so dapat yung answer niya is false. Ayan. Evaluate natin. Ah, para, para, parang may mali. Okay. Syntax error, unexpected daw. So, this means na yung pagkakagawa ng expression is mali. So, it should be greater than or equal. Run natin. Ayan, it's false. Okay? So, please be reminded na if you will try to demonstrate greater than or equal, ito yung placement nila. Greater than muna, tapos saka equal. Okay? You also have less than or equal. So, is 4 less than f less than or equal to 5? Yes, it's less than 2. Yes, it's less than 5. So, it means na yung answer dito should be true. Yan. Run natin. Okay, it became true already. So, those are the things that you need to remember for PHP operators. If you have questions, you are allowed to write your comment and then be ready for the assessment. I will post this video on YouTube so that you can access it uh, as easy as possible. And of course, the assessment will be given through Google Classroom. Thank you so much for listening. This is Sir Nip. Thank you.